hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers the viewers and the world out there today we're looking into Aquarius's monthly new love tarot reading and this message is going to be intended for people who are looking for a new partner single and looking for somebody new in their life or this can also be intended for somebody who just recently had a new pers person coming in or just recently met somebody that they're interested in. So, Aquarius, without further ado, let's get right into the energies. We're just going to jump right into the spread. And in this spread, we are going to look into how this person is feeling within themselves. So the energy that's surrounding them pull a few cards for that we'll try to get clear on if this is compatible if you guys are compatible for each other will this last do you guys have a soul connection here and is this truly worth it okay we will also pull a few cards for advice we'll clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards that's something you guys are interested in Aquarius you are more than welcome in joining us so let's see here what we can see for you guys for September 2020 please and thank you spirit what does Aquarius need to see here most important message September 2020 for a new connection. Please keep in mind guys that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here for free personal readings, it's all linked below. And Aquarius, if you like how I vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages. So get two more cards out here and then we will discuss this as we are clarifying we have the king of swords the seven of swords and the page of cups for your person's energy for your energy we have the four of coins four of swords and justice and knights of coins so it's definitely seeming here Aquarius that you're holding back you're withholding your energy from this situation here is what I'm getting. Maybe you're you're kind of waiting is the sense that I'm getting here. Not maybe not necessarily withholding, but more of a waiting. Waiting to see. Okay. So let's talk about it. The King of Swords, Seven of Swords, and Page of Cups. This person may be withholding information um, about their past. I also get the sense that this person is lacking maturity emotionally. Not in tune with their emotions here. It's almost like they want they want honesty, they want the truth, they want clarity, but they're not willing to give that. But we are going to clarify this. So, four of coins, four of swords, there's definitely some holding back, right? And your intuition may be telling you, Aquarius, that something's off, okay? Trust the process here because there's going to be clarity clarity brought to the situation here so let's just dive right in for Aquarius 
Spirit. What does Aquarius need to see for September 2020? Please and thank you. Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius's person of interest here. King of Swords is oftentimes somebody who's very practical, very straightforward, very open and honest, but again, there's that lack of emotional maturity here. I also feel that they're trying to free themselves from something. They may be uh, trying to free themselves from a relationship or a situation here that maybe wasn't in alignment with where they could envision themselves heading. Okay, they could, with the justice card coming out, this could also be legal matters that they're having to work through. So trust the process here, Aquarius. The Knight of Coins is telling us that there needs to be a slower approach taken. Okay, don't rush the process. You are when you're withholding your energy, that's the right path to take. Okay. Hanged man. So they're waiting around for something. They also could be in this slow and steady process of changing their perspective here. One more card for the seven of swords to the hanged man. Please and thank you for Aquarius. So there's definitely some legality that's coming through in this reading. They could have some connections with a past situation that they're having to work through that's really holding them back from coming forward. And maybe this there might even just be embarrassed about this. Okay. Trust the process here, Aquarius. You need to trust the process. Page of Cups. You may feel as if this person is withholding their energy too and it's because of what they're having to deal with here they very well could be withholding their energy i feel here pisces that um pisces could be dealing with the pisces Aquarius, this is definitely a situation where there's a need here to just wait it out, wait and see, because there's something that this person is not telling you. And I feel like it's having to deal with their past, either a past relationship or maybe even a legal situation that they're still working through in the past. But I'm definitely getting the sense here that they're not putting their full energy into this connection for a very specific reason here and a lot of cards coming out here are symbolizing legal matters i do feel here that you are already withholding your energy and maybe questioning like is this the right thing to do yes yes this is wait and see wait and see because i feel like you're going to, everything's going to be look at this this person is coming out with the page of cups in their energy we have the moon and the hermit clarifying page of cups here see this page of cups moon and hermit okay it's in the up uh, the top energy which is your person of interest the four of pentacles is clarified by the tower and the page of cups You can wait and see, wait and see what's happening, what's going on here. Maybe you're, you might be uncertain if this is truly your reading, but don't be surprised here if something comes out very soon. Very soon because September is right around the corner here, Aquarius. Let's clarify this four of swords. 
focus on your healing process here and manifesting your future working on whatever it is that you're focusing on for future for your future endeavors here okay um there may have been something from your past that you're still dealing with as well i don't get the sense that it's as heavy as what this person is going through but i would recommend not waiting this out just cutting them off but again this is a generalized reading so if you don't get a personal reading to clarify that or you don't have you know a no somehow to know that that's your situation specifically then the best recommendation i could give is just waiting and see waiting and see because something's going to come out here aquarius in this the energy that's being channeled here that's definitely going to bring clarity to the situation here okay there may even be some type of toxic ties or toxicity maybe overindulgence that you may find out about this this individual in particular okay the hierophant is coming out as well that can oftentimes symbolize marriage just a heads up and that's honestly the first thing that came to my mind when that card popped out and obviously if a person is moving away from a marriage it's going to entail legal matters right so Trusting the process is going to be key and just looking for those signs, looking for those keys that tell you, yeah, it's time to go because this is going to come to an end is the sense that I'm getting here. I do feel here, Aquarius, that you do, you're already withholding your energy from this person. So you already maybe intuitively know something isn't right one thing i will recommend though trusting the process here and finding the lesson to be learned right what is the lesson in all of this even if it is a need to trust yourself a little better so aquarius let's get a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward for the month of September into October. I am going to do an extended version to this reading, guys. In the extended version, we'll take a look into this new person's intentions here moving forward. We will also take a look into um, what is the outcome if the guidance is followed, right? We will then do a smaller five card spread to kind of look into how to prepare for a union. If there's any blocks that you need to work through, um, what those may be, challenges that you may face, right? Any messages from spirit. We'll pull out a few different Oracle cards. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining. The link is below guys. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> there may be a need here, Aquarius, to focus on what you need. Okay, understanding that you're the prize here. Okay, what do you need to feel stable, solid, secure in any relationship, not just this one? I feel at this time you may feel nostalgia, nostalgic or that honeymoon phase about this connection and so you may be ignoring the warning signs the star and the ten of coins coming out in reverse there's definitely a sense that there's um something that is hidden that hasn't been revealed yet and when this is revealed that's when this tower moment is going to happen okay 
I feel here, Aquarius, so strongly that it's a need to trust your intuition. You need to trust yourself a little bit better, okay? Because your card is coming out in the reverse. It's not about the longevity in a connection. It's really about how that person makes you feel, right? And if this person is sweeping you off your feet, making you feel good, it's hard to kind of let that go. Um, but ignoring warning signs can kind of lead you into murky waters that could get you into trouble. So that's the, the path that I feel like you may be headed on if you keep entertaining this person. Now, this again, these messages are general. They're not gonna be for everyone. So take it as it resonates. But if this is your energy, if you feel there's something going on or you feel like this person is withholding their energy, your intuition is telling you something there. Let's get a soul journey. If you guys are finding that this message has been helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, Please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. And it does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world. And I do so without judgment. Balance means bringing a sense of stability and wholeness into every area of your life. Many times when you look at a situation objectively, you will resonate with one side more than another. Try not to view either as good or bad, but simply recognize that it is. The true nature of the scales of balance is to give both sides of a situation your equatable objective's perspective. It can be difficult to understand the side that you don't relate to, but that is a lesson in itself. What is it about you that prevents you from giving both sides of the coin your non-judgmental assessment? The situation or person has been placed in your path to teach you that everyone has his or her own unique, authentic life story. You must put yourself in the person's shoes to really understand his or her motivation. Balance is a godly virtue, and if it is struck, you will reap the benefits of insight and compassion. So, Aquarius, I don't feel like this is a soul tie. I feel like, if anything, this is definitely a person that's been a karmic is what they would call it, a person that's been put on your path to help shift your perspective a little bit. They come in, teach, teach you a lesson, and then once that lesson is learned, it's, it's dissipated with their energy. I, however, feel that there's a big lesson in learning to trust your intuition here. I can't get away from that. Your, there's kind of this ignoring warning signs that you're needing to pay attention to that's causing you to stay in this situation longer than necessary or will cause you to stay in the situation longer than necessary i turn every experience into an opportunity each problem has a solution all experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. Beautiful Aquarius, beautiful. So Aquarius, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.